Okay, if you're new to Premiere, here are seven very simple and very quick tips to help in your editing process. They certainly help me in my editing process. Very first one is the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you use the scroll wheel here, in this case, it actually expands up the clip like that which uh, isn't always that obvious, but uh, once you've done it, you know, you'll use it all the time. So yeah, if you want to see a bit more of that clip, use the scroll wheel and the same on audio to bring that down. Sometimes you want to see a little bit more detail in the audio. That's tip number one, nice easy one to start with. The second one is one that I would be remiss if I didn't mention. I've mentioned it specifically in other videos and you can uh, get full details in the video here. It's the keyframing in the timeline. This line here, of course, uses, you can see here, this is used to, uh, you can use this to apply keyframes directly into the timeline by holding down the control button. I'm using Windows, by the way. Uh, if you're using Mac, then I'm sure you'll know which button to press instead. So if you hold down control and you add it, you can see the blue keyframe that's been added there and you can hold down control again and then you can without holding down anything, just left click and you can drag this down and that allows you to fade in your footage or whatever you set it to. I mean, this is set to opacity at the moment, so it allows me to do a really quick fade in of that particular clip. Editing your in and out points is really, really easy to do on a clip as well. If you've got, uh, let's say we're working on this clip here and we just decide that we want to start. So she actually already started talking there. But so, but we'll just say for argument's sake, you can use Q and W to use to do your in point and your out point. So if I get to here, I can do I can immediately trim my clip there with Q. And then if I get to my go to my end point and say, all right, that, there we go, all done there. Press W and that immediately trims the clip. You don't have to drag it in either side. Just Q and W will do those two things for you. Moving a clip within the timeline without leaving any gaps is the next one. If you click on a clip and you hold down Control and Alt, you can move that clip across, let go, and it's shifted this one along. You get left with no gaps in the timeline. Usually if you do that, it'll do that and it'll go over the top of it and you'll be left with a gap there. So holding Control and Alt allows you to shift things around in a kind of more logical way, really. If you want to copy a clip, and this is more relevant a little bit for the older, when, when you had older titles, because this actually does a true, like a new instance of a clip, as it were. So you kind of if you make changes to your copy, you don't change the original, uh, which is something that would happen if you just do a control C and a control V. You can select the clip, hold down Alt, and you can drag it. So that's kind of similar to you to, you know, in like programs like Word, you often use control for that. But in Premiere, it's done with Alt. And the only thing I would say, the only kind of gotcha as the uh, as as it's sometimes called is it's best to select the clip first because if you've got audio and uh, video on the clip then the alt key does something a little bit different so you'll start just separating the video from the audio if you own if you don't select it first so select it first hold down alt and you can make a direct copy of that clip somewhere else the Alt key in general is brilliant for your J and L cuts. And if you don't use it for that, generally, if I just zoom in on this clip here, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, if I hold down Alt, then that's how I do my J cuts and my L cuts either side. And you can do that with audio, you know, you can bring in the audio. It just separates the audio and the video uh, when I've, you know, by holding down the Alt key, really nice and simple. And the final tip that I would so, well, it's more of a recommendation, really, I suppose, is uh, the Ripple tool. Try and get used to using the Ripple Edit tool, and you can access the Ripple Edit, edit tool with B. That's a B for Bravo on the uh, keyboard. And rather than doing an edit like this, where you pull it in and you're left with a gap there, the Ripple, what the Ripple Edit tool does, if we switch to that now, is we bring this clip in, and it shifts everything along with it. It's perfect for if you quickly do it, cut the clip and you want to edit out an erm or a cough or something in your video and you just sort of quickly do a little ripple edit and it just shifts everything else along with it. The toolbar 
itself is something you should know inside out and you can check out this video to find out more information on that though it has changed a little bit since i did this video but there you go just sort of i think seven tips there that i find incredibly useful when doing editing in premiere